Imagine being taken away from everything you've ever known. Your family, your language, your traditions, your home. This is the story of millions of West Africans stolen from their land and enslaved in America, stripped not only of their freedom, but of their identity. Today, their descendants, African Americans, continue to grapple with this loss. Let's talk about how this tragic past still affects us today. Hey, beautiful people, you know what to do. Before the horrors of the transatlantic slave trade, West Africa was home to thriving kingdoms and diverse cultures. People spoke many languages, Yoruba, Wolof, Mandinka, and more. They had intricate systems of trade, education, religion, and governance. Family and community were at the heart of it all. But then came the European ships, and everything changed. Men, women, and even children were captured, chained, and shipped across the ocean in what would become one of the darkest chapters in human history. The journey across the Atlantic, known as the Middle Passage, was brutal. Many didn't survive the cramped, disease-written conditions, but those who did faced a life where everything they knew was erased. Once in America, the enslaved people were stripped of their names, their languages, their religions, everything that made them who they were. They weren't allowed to practice their customs and families were torn apart. This was cultural genocide. This was done intentionally. Slave owners knew that breaking people's connection to their heritage made them easier to control. They didn't want proud Africans. They wanted broken people. For centuries, descendants of enslaved Africans have struggled to reclaim an identity. What does it mean to be African American when you've been cut off from your roots? You don't speak the languages of your ancestors, don't know the customs. And even after emancipation, black people in America have never been treated as equals. The scars of slavery didn't disappear with freedom. From Jim Crow laws, to mass incarceration, to police violence, African Americans have continued to face the effects of a system that never fully accepted them as citizens. But despite everything, African Americans have found ways to create and reclaim culture. From the rise of black art, music, and dance to the growing interest in reconnecting with Africa, we've shown resilience. Many African Americans are now exploring their heritage, learning about the African countries their ancestors came from, and taking pride in both their African and American identities. It's a complicated journey, but it's one filled with strength, pride, and a longing to know who we truly are. So what do we do now? For African Americans, the struggle for identity continues. We're still fighting for equal rights, recognition, and the right to reclaim our history. But one thing's for sure, we're not giving up. We are more than our tragic past. We are a people of strength, resilience, and hope. 
We honor the ancestors who endured the unimaginable and look forward to a future where our identity is fully ours again. Thanks for watching. Let's keep the conversation going. What does identity mean to you? How have you reclaimed your African identity? I traced my ancestry all the way back to Sierra Leone and the Mende people by taking a DNA test. I also traveled to Freetown to immerse myself in the culture. And boy, was it an eye opener. And I suggest you do the same. It'll get rid of all of the fantasy that you have about Africa and you'll see the real deal. And that way you can decide how you want to celebrate your African identity as a black American.